Now, I just recently had a conversation with a customer about this issue. Now, right now, you see the house is fluctuating between about 150 watts to 170, 180 watts. That would be the refrigerator. That's the only thing that's on in the house right now. Everyone is at work. We're the only ones here. So that's basically the only thing that's using power in the house. That's the overall load for the whole house. And uh, my point is, you shouldn't have a refrigerator in your home that's using more than 200 watts. It's not worth it. You may as well change it, get a new refrigerator because it's, it's running up your light bill unnecessarily. So the first thing you want to do before you even go solar is to get as efficient as possible, as energy efficient as possible. And that allows you to use a much smaller solar system to do the same job, okay? Which will in turn cost you less money for the implementation of the system to install it. So just a pointer. For you guys that are considering going solar, before you go solar, this is what you want to know. You want to know just about the energy consumption, the energy consumption of just about every appliance in your home. And you can do that one of two ways. You can buy an energy meter or you can call us in to do an energy audit. We always do an audit before we advise a customer how to move forward or you can send me a list of your appliances along with your light bill that also gives me an idea if you have energy efficient uh, appliances or not. System is very quiet. Today is really, really, really overcast because we're Today is the 1st of October, so it's rain season, but house is still on solar. We're not generating a lot of power, but uh, still keeping the house going. So that's all the power that we're generating right now, just a little under 200 watts. And that's the energy the house is using, a little under 200 watts. And as you can see, it's actually raining right now. The sun is completely disappeared. We have zero sunlight today, so our panels are really just putting out maybe 20% or less of what they normally would in sunlight. But it still, it still generates some power. Even in the darkest of weather, there's still some generation from the panels, some power generation. So just to give you an idea, this is what it's like being on a solar system.